Porta dei Boisari, an ancient gate built in Roman days on Via Postumia, got its name during the medieval period from the presence of the Borsari, guard soldiers who were paid dazio, which is taxes on goods. Its original name, however, was Porta Iovia, from the nearby temple of Jupiter Eustralis. Erected on Decumanus Maximus, the backbone of town planning, the gate was considered the main entrance to the city, as it used to be the transit point for all of the interregional trade that took place along the Via Postumia. Porta dei Borsari is concrete evidence of the defences that Verona had set up against invasions, but nowadays we can only see the façade made of Valpantena white stone, 13 metres high and divided over three floors. The first floor consists of two large arches flanked by semi-columns with Corinthian capitals, which support the entablature and pediment, while the second and third floors are decorated both with a succession of six windows, some of which are included in small niches with triangular pillars. The inside view of the gate shows a band of eight rows of bricks due to the connection with a pre-existent gate of the Republican era, on which the actual gate, built in the imperial period, was superimposed. The inscription on the frieze and architrave is very curious. Verona is called Colonia Augusta Nova Galieniana, the phrase engraved to celebrate the rise to the rank of colony with the reconstruction of the new defensive system. Once through the gate, you can reach Piazza delle Erbe, continuing along Corso Portoni Borsari, a pedestrian street with new stores of famous brands that, between monumental and medieval palaces, runs parallel to the touristic route of Verona par excellence, via Mazzini. <laughs>